World records are something that many of us think about in one form or another over the years, mainly because we see them happen on television or in videos on the internet, and we think about what it takes to do them. or how we could top them if we wanted to have a little bit of fun. Yet while some world records are understandable, genetic, or even fun to attempt, some truly boggle the mind. To the extent that you have to wonder what kind of person would even try to break some of these records. Here now are 20 world records that may never be broken. Number 20. Repeatedly ran over. You might think that the only world record that cannot be broken is one that's too painful to attempt to do again. That's honestly a good indicator of things due to how people don't like to hurt themselves even if glory and fame are on the line. Instead, they prefer to do things that are in their realm of possibility. For some people though, it's just not an issue. They'll risk it all if they think the goal is worthy enough, such as back in the 80s and 90s when a man named Tom Owen was setting records by letting himself get run over for charity. Yes, really, this happened, and would you like to guess where? No, it wasn't Florida, it was actually Alabama. Tom Owen was a bodybuilder who ran a charity called Homes for Abused and Neglected Children, a very worthy thing to do, and to help out that charity, he would do events where he would allow fully loaded vehicles, including one truck that had 20 children inside of it, to run over his stomach. He did this about 100 times a year for quite a while. It wasn't a trick either, because he really did get run over by those trucks, to the extent that when he let it happen the last time, he actually ended up in the hospital for broken ribs and injured organs. After he suffered another injury from a separate event, he then resigned from the charity and said that he was totally exhausted physically and emotionally. Now, I'm more than happy to say that he deserved the break. He did what he could for charity and the children, but he definitely needed some self-care, and hopefully he got it. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Daniel Komen Speed is something that just about everyone agrees is a worthy world record. Whether you do it on foot or on a bike, perhaps in a car or even with a plane, if you go fast enough, you're going to get a record. If for no other reason, then you can become a benchmark for other people to try and surpass. That's probably why people try to make the next great vehicle, also that they can push the pedal to the metal to see if they can break the record. But when it comes to human speed, that's not something you can just create. You have to work at it, you have to earn it, and then you have to prove it on the track. Such was the case with Daniel Komen, a man who has the record for running the fastest 3,000 meter race ever at 7 minutes and 20 seconds. He also ran a full 2 mile race in just under 8 minutes as well. Think about that for a moment. That means that he would have run 2 miles in just about 4 minutes apiece. That's not just consistent running, that's actually fast. That's running that you absolutely have to train for because of how you need to build not only your speed, but also your endurance to last through such a distance. This isn't like a marathon where you're just trying to get to the finish line. Oh no, you're trying to get to the finish line while you're going as fast as possible. For some context, that record has held up for over 25 years now, and just when another runner seemed to be the one to break it, he actually was 10 seconds behind by the time he crossed the finish line. So close, yet so far away. Number 18. Jerry Rice we're going to stay in sports for a little bit, but shift to a different one, that one being football. In football, your training is important, but you also have to have quite a bit of talent. True talent, indeed. Yes, you can earn your way onto the field, but the best of the best are often the ones that have the natural ability to push harder, play harder, and just bulldoze whoever is opposing them. Look at people like Jim Brown, Peyton Manning, the monsters of the midway, and so on. But for wide receivers, the benchmark and world record holder is is none other than Jerry Rice. Known for his time with legendary Hall of Fame quarterbacks Joe Montana and Steve Young during his San Francisco 49ers reign, Jerry Rice was the man, period. If he threw the ball to him, he was likely going to catch it, and if he caught it, then he would catch it often and the opposing team was likely to lose the game. Touchdown San Francisco! 
The reason that Montana and Young got their combined five rings was because they had a constant threat on the field in Jerry Rice. They could easily throw the ball to him or even make it seem like the ball was going to him and dish it out to someone else. The world record that he holds is the most receiving yards in an NFL career. Jerry Rice amassed an amazing 22,985 yards over the course of his nearly 20-year NFL career, and he played with three teams during that time. The current number two all-time? Well, that would be retired wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald, who only has a measly 17,500 yards. Come on, Larry, get with it. That's over 5,000 left of Rice. Now, in the active players roster, the current leader would be Julio Jones. He has 13,400 roughly and nearly 10,000 less than Rice. And Jones, well, he's nearing the end of his career. To beat Rice's record, you'd have to need a transcendent wide receiver like he was back in the day. Number 17. Longest fingernails ever. Now sadly, I have to go into the realm of this is really wrong, because the next record that I'm going to talk about is about the longest fingernails ever. Ew! Why is that so wrong though? Well, it was only a few inches of nails, I could say that it's freaky, but not exactly wrong. However, in the case of this record holder, oh my goodness. Ironically though, the world record was just made in August of 2022. Diana Armstrong won the Guinness World Record for the longest finger fingernails on a pair of hands, as well as the longest fingernails on a pair of hands ever. Both of the 63-year-old's hands have a combined nail length of 42 feet 10.4 inches. Her right thumb is the longest of all of her individual claws, measuring 4 feet 6.7 inches, while her left pinky nail is the shortest at 3 feet 7 inches long. The last time that Armstrong used a nail clipper was in 1997. Yes, she hasn't cut her fingernails in 25 years. That's disgusting. Even if there is an emotional reason for her doing it. Because it wasn't vanity that would lead to her keeping her nails like that, nor was she trying to go for a world record. Rather, it was because of her daughter. Any time that she ever thought about cutting them off, it gave her chills like she was going through that grief all over again and she didn't want to experience, so she just kept them growing. She said that by keeping these nails the way they were, she would feel like her daughter was close to her. Number 16. Longest Locks how about I switch now to a story of a woman who has something long that isn't absolutely disgusting. In this case, a Florida woman who has the longest locks of hair in history. One so long, in fact, that even Rapunzel might be jealous. Meet Asha Mandela, a woman who had her hair measured at 19 feet 6 and a half inches on the 11th of November of 2009. So yeah, it was 13 years ago, and pretty much nobody has come even close to matching her hair, and it can be proven because her hair didn't stop growing. Today, Ash's luxurious locks are even longer, and according to her bio on Instagram, they measure up to 110 feet. That's a whole lot of hair, and she's grown to learn how to work with her hair to do everything she needs without allowing it to get into her way. She refers to her own hair as her royal crown of locks, or even her cobra, and when she's ready to go into her sleep chamber with her cobra baby, she would have them tied up in a little sack, and they could cuddle and talk to each other. Other. Wow, that's not weird or creepy at all. No, definitely not. And before you ask, yes, she does maintain great quality of care for her hair. The process of washing those locks includes using up to six bottles of shampoo once a week and two full days for them to dry, a routine that she's devoted countless hours to. And if not obvious, I do appreciate that because there are many who would look at her and think that she must keep it at least partially unclean, but the opposite is true. She actually takes good care of it because she really loves her hair. Number 15, the Cullinan. Another thing that's very easy to measure a record for is rocks, specifically special rocks, because people love to know what nature has cooked up over the years, and when it comes to gemstones, people are never shy about saying they have one of the biggest ones around, especially when it comes to diamonds. The Cullinan diamond was discovered in South Africa in 1905 and presented as a birthday gift to Edward VII of England, who reigned from 1901 to 1910. It weighed well over 
3,000 carats, making it the largest gem quality rough diamond ever found. When discovered, it would be valued at over $21 million in today's money. That's right, one diamond was valued at $21 million in today's currency, and that was before it was cut up and turned into other diamonds. The rough stone was then cut up into nine large gemstones and then 96 smaller ones. The largest diamond is the 530 carat Cullinan 1, also known as the Star of Africa, which resides in the royal scepter of the British Crown Jewels. It's the largest colorless cut diamond in the world, and the second largest was put in the Queen's Crown, which was worn many times by the late Queen Elizabeth II. The rest were then put into various brooches or necklaces and are kept in a private collection overall. So yes, that's how valuable that diamonds are, even though there is a lot of controversy around the diamonds to this day, which includes how the British basically appropriated this diamond while they were in control of South Africa. Oh, and the guy who actually discovered it? Well, he got a $10,000 bonus for his efforts. Just about says it all now, doesn't it? Number 14. Bubbles Within Bubbles how about something a little more fun? One that you could try yourself if you have the time to get some specific skills. The skills here being blowing bubbles inside of other bubbles. Meet Chang Yu Tae, a man who was so gifted with bubble making that he would dazzle people with his bubble skills. In a massive bubble, he was able to create a total of 783 bubbles in two minutes. And for this feat, he bagged the Guinness World Record for most soap bubbles blown inside a large bubble. That's a very specific specific record, but uh, I guess it's kind of cool. Now before you begin asking, how could they have counted all those bubbles? Well, they had a way to do it. It's called slow motion. The video that recorded the feat was captured in slow motion so they could easily count the bubbles and make sure that it was in fact a world record. They even posted the video, as you're probably now watching, to showcase that it was as grand as it sounded. There's a lot to be amazed by in the video, not the least of which is the fact that he was able to put nearly 800 smaller bubbles inside of a bigger one. As one viewer noted, he had a lot of air in his lungs to create all of those bubbles. Second, the way that they are stacked on one another is incredible, and that added to the effect of the visual itself. So yes, you could try to break the record, you just have to get your own bubble-making skills up to the level of Chang. Number 13. Bat Meet Shin the next one's kind of painful to watch, not in the I can't believe someone was stupid enough to do that kind of way, but rather the my legs hurt just watching it kind of way. Because here we have a mixed martial artist who wanted to break bats in under a minute to get a world record. Overall, not the weirdest way to get a world record. The twist here though was that he would literally break the bats with his shin and he'd do it by kicking them. So he was only using his leg strength to shatter the bats. That's a whole lot of faith in your legs. Though at the time of him setting the record, he was 44 and zero in MMA. Anyways, as you can see, he had one minute to break as many bats as possible, and he made sure that he had an army of people there to set up the replacement bats to help him make it to the record number of 65. One of the reasons that this hurt so much to watch is that he didn't break all the bats at times, and even tripped over some of them, which cost him time in the long run. Then when he did break them, it looked so easy. He did have to rush a bit at the end, but ended up getting 65 bats just in the nick of time and fairly collapsed onto the ground right after. Take a rest there, sir. You certainly deserve it. Number 12. Tongue Power Next up, we have a duo of records set by people with incredibly strong tongues. No, really, I'm talking about tongues, which if you think about it is odd in more ways than one, because you don't think of your tongue as being a strong part of your body. It's what helps you talk, helps you taste your food, and a few other things, but being a strong muscle to lift or support things on, well, not so much. Yet there are plenty of strong tongue records that might not be broken easily due to how not many people being out there try such a thing. The heaviest weight supported with the tongue is 28 pounds, 10 and a half ounces, 
and that would be achieved on the set of a television show in Milan, Italy in February of 2022. Notice how a lot of records were set in the year 2022. It just goes to show you how people still want to go after them. But wait, Blackthorn did another record 14 years previously. The record I talked about before was a supported weight. The greatest lifted weight was 27 pounds, 8.96 ounces by Blackthorn, who lifted the weight hooked through his tongue. Yuck! So yeah, there's another one that you could try to do. I just hope you have a good relationship with your tongue before you even think about it. If you do it wrong, it's not going to look or feel the same afterwards. Number 11. Pulling a Plane if there's one thing that's undeniable about the Guinness Book of World Records, it's that many times they showcase the true limits of the human body, as well as how people try to break those limits. For example, have you ever seen a man pull a plane? Well, you're about to. Back in 2009, Reverend Kevin Fast, a Lutheran pastor from Ontario, and a strongman competitor successfully pulled a CC-177 plane at CFB Trenton, setting Guinness World Records for the heaviest aircraft pulled by an individual. The plane in question weighed 416,299 pounds and was pulled a distance of 8.8 .8 meters in 1 minute 16 seconds. Pulling a plane a few inches would have been impressive in my book, but to be able to pull a plane that weighed that much a couple dozen feet, well, that's scary impressive. The man had worked hard to achieve this and said as much when he was finished. He remarked that it was something that he'd been wanting to do for a long time and it took a lot of planning and a lot of practice. And he did it. When one puts one's mind to something, it's amazing what one can achieve. He wasn't wrong about that, because given the size of the plane and the weight that it had, you would swear that he wouldn't be able to move it at all. However, he did, and the world record was granted to him as a result. Number 10. The Plane Eater Mikel Lotito is a man of legend, and I mean that literally. He was someone who was famous for a special talent and that most people wouldn't even believe until they saw him do it, that is. That talent was him eating metal. Mm -hmm. And no, I don't mean something simple like eating a bolt or even a nut. I'm talking about him eating large amounts of metal, glass, and other materials that are not exactly meant to be consumed by the human body. Now, for context here, someone actually documented that he allegedly ate during his life eight bicycles, 15 supermarket trolleys, seven television sets, six chandeliers, two beds, a pair of skis, and a low-calorie Sesla light aircraft, along with a computer. Yeah, that's right, the man apparently ate a plane, and he did it bite by bite from 1978 to 1980, even being confirmed to have happened by Ripley's Believe It or Not. But, you know, be smart and don't be like this man, please. Number 9. Robert Wadlow how about I move on to a more natural world record here? That's probably more appetizing. Now I'm going to talk about Robert Wadlow. But who is Robert Wadlow? Well, he was the world's tallest man ever, period. Yes, there are all sorts of legends about giants among men, which includes the biblical Goliath, but Wadlow was one who was measured by people and thus Guinness would state that he was the tallest around. When last measured in June of 1940, the mild-mannered American stretched out at a staggering 8 feet 11.1 inches tall. But the irony for him was that he was a normal baby. But then he just began to grow at a rapid pace, which included being over 5 feet tall at the age of just 5. It was eventually discovered that he had hyperplasia of his pituitary gland, meaning that he got more growth hormones than he should have. Many other people since Wadlow have had such conditions and have have lived with them in their own way. Number 8. Lance Armstrong Well, this one's going to be a little bit difficult to talk about because it both is and is not a world record and should probably have an asterisk next to it. Lance Armstrong wowed the world and especially Americans when he won the Tour de France seven times in a row. It's one of the hardest bike races in the world and he won it seven times in a row. That's unheard of, and for a reason. 
because as the world would eventually find out, he actually doped himself up to allow him to do that feat. It was one of the biggest scandals in sports history and set back cycling many years. Even when Lance Armstrong did an ESPN documentary talking about why he did it and how, it really didn't matter because he ended up conning a lot of people and while he was still rich and famous, his titles were then stripped from him. Number 7. Most Consecutive Losses by a Pro Sports Team you know, you play to win the game. Those immortal words by former head coach Herm Edwards states the point of all major sports. You don't play to have fun. You can do that at school or with your friends. When you play in a league, you play to win. So when a team or person goes back on a losing streak, it's one of the lowest lows that they can hit. But how low has a team gone in the past? Well, that number would be 26 by three different teams across three different sports. In the NBA, it would be the Cleveland Cavaliers during the 2010 and 11 season. In the NFL, it happened to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers back in 1976 to 77. And in Major League Baseball, that was from the Louisville Colonels in 1899. They all did break their streaks eventually. It just wasn't soon enough to avoid an embarrassing record. Number six most gold medals ever. The Olympics to some are the highest level of sport, especially amongst those that don't have major leagues or anything like the World Cup. But even those sports that do have that respect the Olympics and the glory they offer. And the prize of a gold medal is something that every athlete desires. So who holds the record for the most gold medals ever? Well, that would be swimmer Michael Phelps, who across multiple Olympics won 23 gold medals between singles and relay events. Now, that's a large amount, and there were some who wondered if he would get all of them because near the end of his career, many felt that he was slowing down while the competition was speeding up. But he did prove them all wrong and kept on winning right to the end. After his final gold medal, he then retired, setting a bar that would take a phenomenal athlete to conquer. Number 5. Ski Jump there are many events for skiing, whether you realize it or not. There are those that are about speed, and the ones about bobbing and weaving around flags, and even events for tricks. And then there's the ski jump. The ski jump is where athletes go flying down a ramp, only to then go flying throughout the air as they try to cross as much ground as possible before touching down. Back in 2017, Austrian world champion ski jumper Stefan Kraft set a world record by going 831 feet 8.31 inches before hitting the powdery snow. As you watch the video of this, he does truly look like he's flying through the air, and that earned him the record of the longest competitive ski jump for a male. Here's a hint for you, unless you're skilled, don't try this at home. Number 4. Steph and the Threes in the NBA, Steph Curry is the current NBA champion alongside his teammates on the Golden State Warriors. They've won four titles with Curry on the team, and a big reason is his ability to shoot three-pointers like it's nothing at all. His skill for this began in high school, grew into college, and then he basically dominated the NBA once he got his fire going again there. It's the only unanimous MVP in history, and with four rings on his hand, he's one of the best ever. Alongside that ring is the record of most threes ever made in the NBA. At present, before the beginning of the 2022 season, Curry has 3,117 three-pointers, and you know he's going to make it even more, so that record of his might last until another stuff comes along, eventually that is. Number three world's most litigious man. Yeah, this is going back into that weird territory, but we're going to talk about it anyways. Meet Jonathan Lee Riches, who claims to be the world's most litigious man because he's tried to sue a lot of people, places, organizations, and basically anyone that he thinks he can sue. He's made a complaint about them, and he sued them. He even once tried to sue Martha Stewart. He apparently felt one time that Guinness was going to give him the world record for most litigious man, and he sent letters turning them down because he felt 
felt that they got the numbers wrong. In return, he then sued them, and they returned fire by shooting down the whole event. They would say that Jonathan Lee Riches was not a record holder, and a category for the most litigious man is not something that the Guinness World Records has ever monitored as a record category. Well, at least you know they didn't get the numbers wrong. Number 2. Yelena Izinbayeva Remember before how I was talking about talented people? Well, Yelena is one of those very talented people. In fact, she can prove with the number of records that she holds and gold medals that she's won. How many did she get? Well, she set 28 world records and once won 9 straight gold medals in various events eventually getting another after a small lull in her success. She's considered to be the greatest female pole vaulter of all time and is easily one of the best athletes ever due not only to her winnings, but also her consistency in events. There are people out there who would do just about anything for the level of individual success that she's had and the accomplishments that she's won. Number 1. Naeem Naeem, who has a last name I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce, was a legendary weightlifter who was incredibly strong despite his very small stature. He was even known as Pocket Hercules due to his size, but that didn't stop him from dominating the world of weightlifting. By the time that he completed his career, he had set an astonishing 46 world records, but there's one that honestly trumps all the rest. He participated in multiple Olympics throughout his life, and he was the first person to win three gold medals in weightlifting at three different Olympics. If you think about the competition he would have had to face and the conditioning that he would have had to keep himself in to do that, it's quite impressive. He arguably could have gotten four had his country not boycotted one of those Olympics. But here's a spoiler alert, he was recently beaten at an Olympic Games. That's all from the realm of world records and why they might not be beaten. Which of these records did you personally feel might not be toppled unless the right person comes along? And were you shocked that some of them were even world records? What world records have you set? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.